It has been six months since an explosion rattled downtown Fort Worth. To this day, a section remains closed to vehicle traffic, but all of that changes next Monday. Olivia Leach is live for us near the Sandman Hotel. That's the site of the explosion, you'll recall. She's got an update, one that uh, so many people have been waiting to hear, Olivia. Yeah, finally some good news here. And the city of Fort Worth announcing that one lane of traffic here on West 8th Street Rockmorton and Houston Street will reopen to vehicle traffic in the next week. And that's some good news for businesses here. As you know, they took a huge hit when it came to this explosion. They lost a lot of their customer base, all these hotel guests. So I'm going to step away so you can take a look at what is here, the progress that's been made over the past few months. Now you'll notice all those construction vehicles and trucks are now gone from this area. Mostly it's barricades and fences that are still left. Now pedestrians have been allowed to walk down West 8th over the past few months and that's helped business some here. But another thing is that with all the tra traffic blocked off, the city of Fort Worth also lost revenue from the meters in the area and permit parking. Now Sandman's contractor did temporary pavement repairs to allow that one lane of traffic to reopen and they're working on installing some steel plates to protect drivers and their cars. Now I talked with someone who works in one of these small businesses here on this block of West 8th. He told me he doesn't think the traffic reopening here will really affect business but he says that it is something uh, and they're looking forward to it. Now the city of Fort Worth told us that the Sandman Hotel owner has not let them know when they plan to reopen. Nicole and Ken.